Hello everyone, welcome to another unboxing. My final unboxing for this year. Uh, the next unboxing will be the next edition of Final Fantasy, which is next year in February, end of February. But today, this is a game that I've looked forward to all year. Um, and this was a birthday present. I saved up some money, uh, put my birthday money towards it, and I'm thrilled that I got it. I'm over the moon, actually. And I've got this early. This game doesn't come out till tomorrow, the 20th. Um, I'm pretty sure it's the 20th. Hang on, let me double check. I'm pretty sure it's the 20th. Uh, so I don't know whether or not, if I release this today, anything will happen. I don't think it will, um, but I'm not sure. So Spider-Man 2. Release day. Yes. So it's tomorrow. So um, I've got this early. Uh, I don't think it matters be honest with you uh probably a lot of people have got theirs early maybe and i just think it was the fact that sony guarantee it by delivery day so i don't think t that i gave at the start well i showed off what it is Today, we are going to unbox, and this is the biggest one that I've got so far this year, Marvel Spider-Man 2. Now, this game, as I said, I've looked forward to all this year, and I'm trying to get close to the mic so my mic will pick myself and pick me up um, while I'm knocking everything off. And yeah, so I may, not, I, may not, I may sound quite distant. I'm sorry if I do, but in this, I'll show you the front of it. So the front of it, is just simply um, Miles and Peter. Miles in his um, black, black and red Spider-Man suit, and Peter in his um, more up-to-date Spider-Man suit, you could say. Um, the side is the logo, and the other side is the same. Oh, that made my screen go a bit fuzzy. And then on the back, we have what's inside. Now I'm going to read it off, and Spider-Man 2 Collector's Edition, steelbook display case, so you don't get a physical, di a physical game. If you buy it um, on the other editions, then you do, but I don't really mind if this is, is, a, is a digital game, to be honest with you, you still have to install it. So, and then you get the full digital PS5 game, the Deluxe Edition, you get a 19-inch Collector's Edition statue with Venom and um, Miles and Peter fighting him. And then you get um, an early unlock uh, Arc Knight suit, suit, Peter Shadow, uh, Peter Shadow Spider suit, uh, uh, unlock Arc Knight suit, Peter Shadow Spider suit, Miles. Um, you get three skill points at the start. You get a web uh, grabber gadget. Uh, I didn't actually see that. And then you get uh, uh, 10 unique suits for Peter and Miles, five each, additional photo mode items, and two skill points. So you get five skill points from the get-go when you get this, this particular version. Now this version was, um, well, I'll say how much it was. It was £220. Um, I know you people say, well, is it worth it? I mean, I've heard reviews about the game. So I need to get closer to my mic or I'm not going to be able to be heard. So... People are saying that this game, there's been, uh, I watched Dreamcast Guy, and he was the one that came out and basically said that people are finishing this game in 15 hours. If you do every additional activity and stuff like that, then you might do 30 hours. That's like getting all the collectibles, all the side missions, or everything like that, everything. And that took 30 hours. I don't care how long it takes me, to be honest with you. I just want to enjoy the Spider-Man game. I played the first one, absolutely loved it. Uh, then they remastered it obviously and i had the original one with the original statue um i will put a picture or a little video at the end of this one showing off the other collector's edition that i got and it just made sense i mean if i get 
an, an Assassin's Creed game and another one comes out, I have to get the collector's edition because it follows on from one another and it just make it makes up the, the set. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, we're not here to talk about the box anymore. We're going to get into this. So, why I knock my new controller off? Yeah, my new uh, Hyperkin uh, N64 controller, which is a similar. Uh, this is the retro bit one, and then there's a, uh, and then I've got the um, uh, the uh, retro fires, and I actually prefer this. I prefer this one. Uh, I had to get the adapter for the Hyperkin adapter. I uh, got that earlier this week. So let's get into this. Let's get out the box. Uh, bear with me a minute. I will cut this out more than likely because it's not going to be something you want to see. Oh, this, I hate these boxes. I mean, the. box is a look at that is a nice box that itself is a display oh it's a bit doing a bit to my background there the blacks interfering but check that out wow i mean you could put the statue in in this box and have this box open i think mate i probably wouldn't do that but i don't get rid of my boxes uh, let me come a bit closer to the mic again i have to get a new chair as well um so this um, this game, as I said, I've been waiting for all this year. It's been, for me, it's been my most anticipated game this year. Ow, that actually hurt. I think I have to turn it over this way. So it slides off like that. Those little rhythm, rhythm bits are to help you all. Oh, that is actually like shiny and like, uh, Reflective, actually, actually nice. I can, it's a bit silvery, so it's actually a really nice. Okay, so I have. I think I might have put this upside down. So first of all, we have. Um, this is how to put the statue together. I love it when these things actually include instructions. Uh, we have the the case itself. Uh, I might be able to open this, but I don't know. I don't know where the game. Because you, obviously, you get a code. So. If I take that off, put that on there. Okay, my code for my game is in this. This is the downloadable content. So this isn't the actual game itself. So the box is really nice. You can see that. There's uh, Miles. There's Venom and there's Peter. And yeah, it's bloody nice. I love the fact that Venom's in this game. So here I think is the statue itself. Um, yeah, this is the statue. But I don't know where the other stuff is. Wow, this thing feels really well. I, I saw the statue and I thought, mm, not sure about it, but wow. The way it feels is Oh my god, look at that. That is a fucking amazing statue, isn't it? This He obviously fits in and he's solid. And you see he's got the electric bit around his arm, around his arm there, see? That's like some of his powers with his suit. But oh my god, look at that with the, with the venom. It actually feels... shooting a web according to this um 
so it goes in his arm and it attaches onto Venom. Ah, so Venom's got a little uh, hole in his shoulder here, look. But I don't know where this, like, webbing is. Ah, there it is. So let's see if I can do this now while I'm unboxing it. Don't normally do this. Also, oh, this feel, this is a metal thing. So I. Okay, so that's nice and nice and secure. It, it's nice and uh, fit rigid. And then that goes in there like that. Let's take that out a minute. Let's put that down. Let's take this out. And put this in the hand of Peter. Ah, so it's like that. And then you put this in here. It's a lot of. Money, of course now you could only get this on Sony Direct there was no other way of getting it and when they first announced the pre-orders they still have they still have pre-orders months later so it didn't sell out like I thought it would and I got the day mixed up and was waiting all day for something that never happened and then after that um, I realized it was the, the uh, a little bit I think it was like the, the next day after that or something like that and one thing I got annoyed with Insomniac was they didn't say the times of the individual countries. They said like 10 a.m. 10 across the world. And then when I said, you know, are you going to sell out? Is it like a worldwide thing? And then, I, and then I got an answer on my tweet and they said, no, there's a set amount for each country. So that's how these things should be done, in my opinion. You need to have a set amount for every country so everyone gets a chance to buy them so if you want to buy this you can and then you don't then go there and then a few months later and you're looking for it you think actually i want to get the collector's edition later on and then you can't because they're not available anymore so i'm going to put that down on the floor just down here and i'm because it's actually it's too big for what the shelf that i would put it on and then we'll leave that there and we'll leave that there i think then Okay. a day early so people are probably are more than likely going to be looking at this and thinking wow I've got it early um, yes I have uh, it's just the way it is it came today uh, DPD delivered it so that's that's what it is you know I can't stop that I can't help that you know a lots of people may have got theirs early I think they do it so you get it in time for, for release day you can still play it early I wouldn't think you can stream it early but you can play it early um, on So I can enjoy it by myself and just enjoy the fun of it without having to stream it. Um, if it comes out on PC in the next, like how, whenever it does, it probably will at some point. I almost likely get it on PC so I can play it on there easily and more easily. Um, but no, this has been a really nice product and I I'm so over the moon with it. Um, I love the fact that I've got it and yeah. So that is Spider-Man Two. The collector's edition. So next year we will have um, uh, Final Fantasy. Um, I don't know when there'll be another one of these. There won't be any more this year, I don't think. 
Um, you know, I have bought these, you know, on uh, credit and stuff like that. So uh, I have to pay them off, obviously. So I'm not going to do anything about anything until the one I've got next year comes out. Um, and there's nothing else really that's coming out that I really want, that I'm interested in. Um, I've got other things I want to, you know, that I need to focus on other things at the moment. Um, but yeah, that's the end of that. That's the Spider-Man 2 Collector's Edition. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please leave me a like and a comment. And subscribe to the channel to see more. Uh, this is going to come within Halloween month, so this will be a bonus upload, but nothing about Halloween. Um, there's more. There's still more Halloween stuff to come. As you can see, I've got... Um, I have Um, uh, what's the other one? Uh, X Files with Sully, uh, Sully, uh, or Scully, um, City of Lost Children, and then Ghostbumps on PC all through this month. Um, I've had more subscribers this month, so thank you very much for those who have subscribed. I really appreciate it. Um, I, thank you very much for subscribing. I want to get to 650. That's my goal, and then 700. Uh, if you haven't already, go and check out my friend Merrick. Link in the description down below. Uh, follow me on Twitter uh, or X. Um, and if they do start charging for X across the board, I'm, I probably won't use X at all. Um, I'll use something different. Um, probably just Discord. So there's Discord as well down there. Uh, come and join the Discord server. Um, and you'll you'll see like when I you know if I upload if I go live and I put it in there everything like that will be in there and um yeah so that's it and uh, thank you very much for watching and I will see you next year with Final Fantasy Rebirth um or Final Fantasy Seven Remake Part Two Rebirth or Re Rebirth so Remake Part Two and I'm looking forward to that one the statue in that is fucking incredible. And I've already seen a picture and it looks amazing. So if you haven't already, go and check out my AC Mirage and my, uh, my Payday one I liked. Uh, my AC one I liked as well. But this one is my favourite so far. But next year, that one in February, all my days. And it's not very far away. You know, we're, we're getting close to the end of October now. My birthday was just this, just this last Friday. Just gone. Um... So, yeah, so uh, I had a really nice day. I went and saw my other half and a really nice day. I was also ill very much last week, so that's why I didn't do as much recording as I wanted to. I was using my earbuds in one ear. It was really quite hard to record like that. And I also didn't feel great when recording. I thought if I, if I recorded, I might take my mind off it, but no, I just, my mind was just always on feeling meh. So, yeah. That's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Um, please leave a like and subscribe. As always, thank you very much again. And I'll see you in the next unboxing, which will be the Far Fancy one in February next year. So this is the unboxings done for now. Um, I don't know what's going to happen after Halloween in terms of up, uh, in terms of what's going to go live. Um, I've still got some of the Sorcerer. I've got a lot of backlog stuff that I need to put up on the channel. There is a lot of Final Fantasy stuff from Twitch that I've been doing with Phoenix. So that will be going live as well. I still haven't made go live some of the um, mind, mind, Minecraft one, Mindstream, Minecraft ones that we did. Um, sort of like two years ago or whatever because it took me ages to edit them. I've got so many things to edit and I just haven't bothered doing any of them. They just sit in my folder and it's because there's so many, so much to do. And it takes a long time to do editing. You know, it takes a lot of hours to do a lot of them. And then I've got to export them. I've got to upload them. So it takes a long time to do it. And uh, it's not that I don't want to do it. It's just that it just takes a long time. Um, I know people have wondered about this is how you don't play. So, yeah, that's it for Spider-Man. That's it for the unboxings this year so far. Um, until next year, of course. And I'll see you then. So, take care, guys. And it's ciao for now. All right. I'm back very, very quickly. 
I said I would show a comparison between the first game and this new one that I've just got. I'm going to add it in at the end of the video so you can have a see. So this was the first Spider-Man. Oh, that is really not going well. That, that the uh, t the um, the tail of a. I think that might, is that scorpion. Yeah, it's not going well with my bloody background. But that, that this is meant to be green. So this is the first first game. So that's the size of it. And that was a game exclusive, I believe, or a game version. And he's fa basically standing on like in that game. You have like the Sinister Six. So you have Vulture, you have um, uh, Doc Ock, you have um, Scorpion, um, uh, and I'm not sure what else you have. <laughs> it's got some dust on it. And I'll, yeah, yeah, Rhino's horn. Rhino, the horn here is here. So he's standing on the the pile of them, like basically saying, "Look, I've defeated all of these," but. The game was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. This compared to this. <laughs> you can't even compare it. Look at the fucking difference. This and this. You can tell just how much effort they put in from this to this. They've really put in. This is the, this is a symbol, a symbolize. This is basically, I mean, when it comes to Venom, you can't just have a small statue like this. You can't. You need to have a big statue to show off Venom's superiority. His presence. You know, how powerful and big and how much bigger he is compared to Spiders, um, Peter and Miles. And of course in this, like in the trailers, you see that Peter... No, that, that's Peter. You see that Peter gets the black scene just... now so this is like just to compare and show off so i'm actually going to do these from now on like compare like the last one to this one so what i probably will do at some point is a collection update or a collection like showing off my collections okay so i'll get them all down off the shelf and i'll show them off one by one just probably the statues not necessarily the, the steel books we all don't want to still see the steel books all the time to be honest do we we don't but i am really excited for this i mean i venom is my favorite enemy or um enemy of spider-man he is one of my favorite characters in spider-man in spider-man universe he's by far one of the most um well you have to be very careful with venom of how you use him because he has been used quite a lot in older games, like uh, there was like um, Weather Shadows um, that used Spider-Man. There was Spider-Man One on the PS One that had Venom in it. Venom was at first the antagonist of that game, and then you had Weather Shadows where he was the antagonist. You know, all of New York became symbi symbiotic. Um, you had Carnage in Shattered Dimensions, so Venom has appeared in a, a lot of Spider-Man games. And for me, you have to get Venom correct. You have to get him right. Oh, yeah, and he was also in Ultimate Spider-Man as well. As a, a character you play as. So he he really is, in the games, used quite a lot. And I watched a big retrospective of all the games before. And the guy was saying how, like, it's again Venom. Venom's, Venom is in the game. And there are other characters that are just as capable as being the main enemy of the game over Venom, which is why the first game did so well for me when they had all the other characters. They had Vulture, that's, at the minute, I can remember him being in uh, uh, Weather Shadows, Shadow Dimensions in the Noir um, uh, levels, and um, the first Spider-Man game on PS1, on uh, PS2, sorry, the movie game. Oh, and also he, Venom was in Spider-Man 3 as well. On PS3, PS2, etc. So, he, he's been in those... He has been in them. There are, they, they, show, they show him in them. 
but he is overused. There are sort of overuses of him. And other characters, I think, was the, I don't think Goblin was in this. Not that I remember. But anyway, that is just to compare the two statues. So, no comparison for me. All right, guys, that's going to be it. So thank you very much for um, watching this extra little bit, which has gone on for about five more, four more minutes. So yeah, I'm really pleased with it. I'm over the moon with this. I love it. I love it. I love it. Love it. Anyway, that's me. That's me. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this little bit. And I'll see you in the next unboxing, which will most definitely be Final Fantasy Remake Part 2 or Final Fantasy, 2, Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth in February next year. It's ciao for now, guys.